What's up y'all, Josh here today, aka the world's greatest dad. We're about to cook up this nice little muley buck roast right here on our Traeger, but the only thing worse than undercooked meat is overcooked meat. So today we're gonna be making sure that doesn't happen with the Alpha Grillers Digital Meat Thermometer. Let's get it. So before we get into the intricacies of this Alpha Grillers Meat Thermometer, let's go ahead and just take a second to appreciate this beautiful chunk of deer meat right here. Of course, we're going to be doing this on our Traeger today. The trifecta of beautiful seasoning, some of my favorites. Johnny's, of course, Alpine Touch, and Kinder's Caramelized Onion Butter. Mm. So let's go ahead and get this beautiful hunk of meat thrown on the Traeger and get to cooking. And while our meat cooks, let's go ahead and take a little closer look at this bad boy right here. There's the box that's going to come in. They even throw in an extra battery. How about that? You need to ever switch that out. It's right here on the back. All right, now you want to turn this on simply pull out the probe. You want to turn it off? Shut the probe. Pretty self-explanatory, okay? Next thing we need to know is this nice little handy cheat sheet here at the top. Look at that, baby. Beef, lamb, pork, veal, poultry, fish, everything you need to know, and the temperatures for well done, medium, and medium rare. I don't suggest medium rare pork. All right, let's go ahead and move on down to the three different buttons it gives you here. Number one at the top, we got Celsius and Fahrenheit. We're on Fahrenheit right there. Click the button, now we are on Celsius. All right, let's go back to Fahrenheit. Our next button right here is the hold, max, and min. So as you can see right now, our temperature adjusts depending on what it is in right there. If we hit the hold button, now, no matter what, the temperature holds so you can stick it in your meat, pull it out safely, and see the temperature without it changing. All right, we'll go ahead and turn that off. And at the very bottom here, we have our nice little backlit option. So if you're out there cooking in the dark like I like to do sometimes, click that, and that nice little light will turn on the LCD display. And a couple other cool features about this thing is that it is waterproof, although you don't want to put it in your dishwasher. I usually, when I'm done using it, just simply wipe it off right here, shut it up, and we're good to go. Another thing I like about it is that it does have a magnet on it, so you can store it just on your grill or on your refrigerator if you don't want to put it in a drawer. It also has this nice little hole right here, so you could put it on a hook as well. All right, it's been a little while. Let's go ahead and flip this beautiful chunk of meat. Mm. That is looking good. Let's get a little reading, shall we? One twenty-three, one again. We can simply hit the hold button, pull that out, and it holds our reading. So for today's cook, we're looking to keep this thing between medium rare and medium. Medium rare being one thirty-five, medium being one forty-five. So I really want to pull this thing off anywhere between 135 and 140 to 145. Let's check it out. Hit our handy hold button. We're at 140.7. Let's get this thing off the grill. Oh yeah, baby. That is one good looking piece of meat. Go ahead and cut a little off. Cheers. It's good stuff. So there you go, kids. That's pretty much everything you need to know about the Alpha Grillers meat thermometer. Now, I couldn't have cooked this thing as well as I did. I didn't have a handy device like this. It's for those reasons and more. I easily give this thing a world's greatest dad thumbs up, and I say, go out and get you one.